So yes, I do actually cook every once in a while. I mean, that dirt doesn't just come from nowhere. <laughs> this damn thing. I've cleaned it so many times, but it's just so old. The rust just cuts right through the chrome. And maybe I'll paint it with a high temperature paint. That's that's my last resort. Or just stop caring. Um, um, I've seen other people... Uh, cooking on worse so let's just leave it at that one of the reasons I bought this pan this pan is the slipstone cookware non-stick frying pan telebrands it's not as seen on TV it's the knockoff of as seen on TV telebrands you might see it on TV <laughs> Well, it's supposed to be a stone, a stone-like surface, uh, kind of like the organic. You cook an egg in it. Supposedly, you can blow the egg out of the pan. Um, if people say mean things to you, you can hold it in front, and it will reflect them. I'm rubber, you're glue. Whatever you say bounces off my pan and sticks on you, or some bullshit. I don't know what the spiel is. I bought it because it has the fold-up handle, and with my small cupboards the folding handles nice now one thing it says if you end up getting one of these never use it on a high heat the high heat will destroy the pan we're going to go ahead and cook some actual food here um, not just a piece of ham like last time and I'll show you the process and the finished results okay so this is part two where we add the ground beef. Now this is, I'll leave it up to your imagination to decide which, this is either grass-fed, 100% pure USDA organic bison, or it's one of those cheap vacuum-sealed tubes of generic beef. Um, all I'm going to tell you is it's one of the two. Hey! Shut up over here. I'm trying to cook something. So, um, we have to brown it. This here is a Coleman camping. Camping, um silverware they make knives forks and spoons they're extremely heavy dirt duty even though they look like cheap plastic and they're also very easy to clean uh, it's another great thing to have with you when you're camping normally i would be using a metal spatula to stir and break this up with however this pan specifically says not to use metal um it also says not to use too high of a heat which could be an issue because I'm using propane, which burns hotter than natural gas or an electric range. So I have it higher than I thought I did. But I started off with it a lot lower, and um, it wasn't cooking. But that's looking pretty darn browned to me. Step number three, seasoning. And no... We're not making tacos. Well, son of a bitch. So, I had filmed the whole process of filling the tortillas with beef, covering them with cheese and olives. However, I had the phone in the wrong mode. Um... I forget what they're called. Layout mode, stand-up mode, something bullshit mode. <laughs> I don't know. So, we missed the whole center part, but I, I can still go ahead and show you this again. Uh, we don't have an oven in this motorhome. Crap on that. <laughs> we don't have an oven in this motorhome, so I bought a 
toaster oven that is also a convection toaster oven, meaning it has a fan built on the side which circulates the air around and helps things cook faster. This is how the enchiladas came out. I've already eaten one. Uh, pretty good. This is a removable tray. So you can take that out periodically and clean all the crap from it. Um, there's a dead bug in there. I wonder if that's why my enchiladas tasted buggy. No, I just seen him flying around a minute ago. He just went in there. But yeah, uh, I can run this off my 2000 watt champion inverter generator. At least at, at 3000 foot. Um, your generators lose a little bit of power as they go up in elevation. So, who knows? But, um, yeah, it's a real bummer. I, I, I completely lost... I set this thing on a tripod, and I didn't realize the tripod had it at the wrong angle. So I lost the uh, whole middle section of my little cooking show segment here. Oh, well. Story of my life. There are a half a dozen different brands of enchilada sauce. I prefer them to not be so runny. But this one, it's been about six months since I cooked these. I went kind of on a binge where I was eating them weekly and then I burnt out. Um, if I remember, this was the sauce that had the best flavor, but I don't remember it being so thin. I bought three different types. We'll try all three over the course of the next week. But yeah, I sure do like me some enchiladas. Do whatever you like. Don't let anyone tell you you can't. Eat whatever you want. Even if it's not good for you, you can always eat it in moderation. And this is actually uh, a lot healthier than half the crap I'd buy at fast food anyway. Oh yeah, I almost forgot my final um, thoughts on the pan. I was pretty darn impressed. They advertise it as a uh, very easy to clean, non-stick surface. But because it's a, a stone-like surface, it's also supposed to be sort of porous. You can almost see uh, the little grit to it. And so cooking, especially cooking something like... Um, especially cooking something like... Uh, ground beef with taco seasoning a lot of times that oil will leave a stain a residue of sorts on pans this thing cleaned up super easy didn't even need a scrub brush just a little bit of soap hot water and my hand and there's no residue left at all so um the slipstone pan has my seal of approval that's for sure